Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this clutch bag. I've used this shell stitch and added this D ring. This is how it looks. So over four rounds I've joined this one and I've added the zipper. So these two bits are actually optional. So you might not add the D rings and the zipper or finish it off as you want. So let's get started. So for this part I've done a total of 15 rounds and I've joined this ring from the 9th, sorry 11th round and this purse measures 8.5 inch which is 22 centimeter and it's 14 centimeter the length, the height. Five and a half inch. For this project, I'm using two skeins of uh, yarn, which is 50 gram each, so a total of 100 grams. And you can see this yarn is a five ply, and I'm using two strands, so one from each skein, and a five millimeter hook. To start, you need to start with a multiple of six. So for the small one, I've done 24 chains and then I've added three extra chains. So this is the pattern, any multiple of six and plus three chains. So I've done 27 here. And for the big one, if you want to do the big one, you'll have to do 33 chains. So 30 is multiple of six and then you add three extra chains. So 33. And for the very first round, I'm going to skip the first chain, go into the second one and do a single crochet into the second. So let me zoom. So one single crochet into the second and then one single crochet in each until the last one. So you're going to have 24 single crochet and then the last one is the 25. So in the last one we're going to do 3 single crochet. And three single crochet into the last one. So one, two, three. And now using the back of the stitch, the back of the chains, we're going to do single crochet next 24. So go into the next and do single crochet and then go into each for the next 24 so if you're doing the big one it would be next 30 so in between the first chain and the last one you'll have always 24 24 stitches and in the big one you'll have 30 and if you've chosen different multiple you'll always have the multiple that you've chosen and I'm back to the first chain and where I've done the first single crochet I'm going to add two more single crochet so find this chain and do two more one and two and now slip stitch to the first single crochet <coughs> And what I'm going to do is put the stitch marker into the last stitch rather than the first one. So I know that this is the last one. And now chain one, go into the same stitch and do two single crochet, one and two. So two into the first one and then one in each of the next 24. So one single crochet, next 24. 
Now I'm gonna do two single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. These three are the one that we did in the same, uh, same chain. So I'm going into the next and doing two, one, two, into the next one again, two, one, two, and into the last one, two. So we're gonna have six single crochet. And now I'm going backward and doing 24 single crochet so one in each for next 24 and into the last two again i'm gonna do two in each so take your stitch marker off and you know the last two is here and i'm gonna do two in each sorry it's a single crochet so one, two, one, and two. And now I'm gonna slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. So here is my first one. And slip stitch. So after the two rounds, the works look like this. So I've got 24 stitches in both sides and then I've got 6 into each end. So you'll have 4 shell into each side. So 4 here, 4 here and 1 into each end. So what I want is I want the shells to be into this stitch and hinge to this stitch. So in order to do that, when you start the next round, the third round, what you'll have to do is slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. So I'm going into the next and do a slip stitch and go into the next one, do a slip stitch and start from this point doing a single crochet and then do the pattern. So I'll be ending up having a shell into this point. If I start from the where I've slip stitch, I wouldn't have into this point the shell. So now you will have to do these two slip stitches and start into this same so I'm going to do a single crochet into the same stitch and you don't need this stitch marker anymore so I'm going to put into the first single crochet oops if I'm able and now I'm going to start the pattern so what you're gonna do is skip next two stitches one two go into the third one and place five double crochet so skip next two, go into the third one and place five one two three four and five so now I've got five double crochet I'm gonna skip next two stitches one two go into the third one and do my single crochet and again this is the pattern repeat uh, skip next two go into the third one do five double crochet So two, three, four, and five. And again, skip next two, go into the third one and do a single crochet. And then I'm gonna skip next two again go into the third one and do my five double crochet one two three four 
five and then skip next to go into the third one single crochet so you can see I've already got three and the last one here skip next to go into the third and again place five one two three four and five and then I'm going to skip next to go into the third one and do a single crochet so now you can see after the next two stitches I've got the third one where I want to place my shell so taking the stitch marker off and doing over there five single five double crochet so one two three four and five then skip next to go into the third and do the single crochet so by doing this you can see into this end I've got these five five double crochet so this shell and the work will start curving at this point and you need to finish the round so just repeat the pattern as I did so I'll be back when I'm in the last one and after you finish your last shell you slip stitch on top of the first single crochet so take your marker off and slip stitch so it doesn't matter what multiple you choose for this for third round you start by doing two slip stitch into the next two and then you start doing the single crochet into the same and do the pattern so it's same for any multiple you choose now the next round is going to be the repeat round so round number four is the repeat and for this round you will be starting by doing slip stitch into the next three because we won't start the round into this point into this stitch but in the middle one of this five shell so you've got this five double crochet and the third one which is the middle one the, this is the stitch where you need to start your round so each time what you're going to do is slip stitch into the next three so go into the next double crochet do your slip stitch go into the next one do another slip stitch and then the third one do the third one and from this point we're gonna start so you're gonna start similarly with a single crochet into the same so go into the same stitch and do your single crochet and place stitch marker into this and now you're gonna repeat the same pattern which is going to be skip next two stitches and work into this single crochet so each time you'll be skipping two stitches go into the third one which is going to be always the single crochet and do five double crochet so i'm gonna place my five double crochet one two three three four and five and again skip next to go into the third one which is the middle one of this five double crochet and place a single crochet so here's my single and repeat this pattern skip next to go into the single and do your five so all the way it's same it's really easy you do two three four and five and then skip next to go into the third one and do the single crochet 
so I'll be stopping here you need to continue this pattern until you are in the very last single crochet which is here and then you're gonna slip stitch on top of the first single crochet so you'll need to finish this fourth round slip stitch on top of the first single crochet and you just need to repeat these four rounds until the length you need so you need to slip stitch next three so each time you need to slip stitch next three stitches so what happens that after each round you'll be shifting by one shell so if you remember we started from this point and you're already here next round will be here and you will get onto the other side as you go so slip stitch next three stitches so one two and three and then single crochet the same so go into the same and start with the single crochet and always stitch marker and now the same thing skip next to go into the single crochet and do five double crochet then skip next to single crochet into the third one this is the repeat so i'll be placing my five double crochet I have a problem. Oops, it's giving me hard time. So let's do it again. So two, three, four. And five then single crochet into the third one and repeat this pattern so now I'm in the eighth round of the shell stitch so counting the first two this is the eighth round which I'm working in and this round I'm gonna join the D ring so it doesn't has to be D but you can use any ring you have or you can skip this part if you're not interested in it so so what I'm going to do is in this round the eighth round you're gonna have in each of this end a single crochet so you can see the shell is here so in the on top of that is going to be your single crochet so into this single crochet and these two in I'm gonna join the ring so if you're making the big one the ninth round is the one where I've joined my ring so for the big one nine round ninth round and for the small one it's eighth so if I'm making it big, the ninth means I haven't counted these two so if you count these two it's going to be 11 actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah it's the eleventh so here now I'm going to do this shell so five double crochet one two three four five and now I'm into this end so skipping next to going into the third one so what you will have to do is take the ring and put it into the hook like this so put it in the into the hook and then work your single crochet so you need to keep this ring into the hook and then go into the third one and just do a single crochet and then you when you have the two loops your ring would be on the left hand side and then you will be making it single crochet so the ring is here and now to work the next round take the hook off and move your ring to the other side and you'll have your loop back onto the left and now you can continue now working the rounds 
so your ring is over here so it will be properly secured after f after three more rounds so now you just secure this bit and after three rounds you'll secure the whole ring so now you need to continue doing the normal thing so you can see so this ring is a little bit big for this part so this is the only one I have and I wanted to show you how to join it so if you have a smaller one you can use the smaller one and this one is I think it's a three millimeter one so best for this one is a two millimeter ring and I'm now continue my pattern and when I'm on the other end I'm doing the same exact thing so So now I'm at the other end, I've done the shell, the 5 double crochet and I'm now going to go into this third one. So before doing that, grab your ring, put it into the hook and then do your single crochet. So like this. So your ring must be on the left side and now take the ring place it, place it on top of the loop and the ring is now on the right hand side and now you can continue doing your shells and just finish the round and I'll be showing you the next so I'm back to the first end again and after the single crochet now you'll be ending up doing double crochet into this single crochet where the ring is so what you're gonna do first ignore it and do first two double crochet into the ring so I'm gonna do one and two and now pull the yarn and take the hook off now this is the ring on the left side now you have to put it on the right side so your loop will go through the ring and what you'll have to do now grab the loop again so now your ring is on the other side so right side and you're gonna finish off doing your three double crochet so yarn over go into the same spot it'll be a bit hard but you should be able to work your double crochets so three four and the last one the fifth and now continue doing your so repeat the pattern so your ring you can see it's almost half secured so I've repeated the same thing onto this side as well with the five double crochet and now I'm into the next round where you have to secure it again with the single crochet so you've got the five double crochet and now in the third one you'll need to do a single crochet so what you do is your ring is over here in the left side so you insert it grab the yarn and again your ring is always in the left side and single crochet and now pull and grab the yarn so bring your ring to the right side so now your ring is on the right side and you continue working so you can see it's already secured and you have to repeat on the other side same thing and then you'll have to repeat the last round again the double crochet round so you do two double crochet and then go on the other side to so bring the ring to the right and do the three more double crochet and continue the work and then you can repeat again another round to further secure it and that's it so after this round you can see you can see how it's secured and after the next round it should be done so I'm again in the double crochet so I'll have to do five double crochet and the, here is the ring 
so this one could be a bit tight and hard to do so what I'm going to do place two double crochet first one and two like this and then I'm gonna get this loop through the ring and do my three double crochet again going through the same but make sure that the you're not going through the ring like this is the third one let me do it again so this is the third the fourth and the last one and then the single crochet and then you can see now and after this round it's done so you when you continue this round and this and then do another round and that's it then you can finish off the first this is how it looks after finishing the work and the total rounds are 12 for this purse starting from the bottom so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you